Okay, this thing's working. <laughs> yeah. Once again, winter in Western New York. <laughs> Just uh, putting some corrections on my for my first video and uh, updating you on a few things. <laughs> uh, let's see. One thing, I've, a couple things I forgot to mention are mistakes, yada yada, you know, which is a little update. Um, in along here. I mentioned I had some dwarf roses, which are currently over on the other side, but I also got some right in here, uh, four of them, again, buried underneath the snow, and I got another one over here, and uh, some of these are my mother's, uh, she got two roses, one of those, bl one of those black, su black eye Susans or whatever, and a couple other things. Um, if you're asking what the deal with the plywood is, help keep the water pipes from freezing. <laughs> you know. Um, got some plans with these uh, these uh, posts. I plan on putting in some Arctic slash hardy kiwi. Um, I can't grow the regular stuff, the delicioso, uh, because. This is Western New York, okay? We get negative 20 degrees weather around here. Um, so, can't have the more familiar stuff. But, the Arctic and hardy stuff grows about the size of grape. Grows okay around here. And, uh, plan on using these as supports. <laughs> And the idea is to uh, wrap the vines around these posts. <laughs> Same thing with the grapes on the other side. Wrap them around the pole. Wrap them around these beams. Um, basically, give it a bit of a Mediterranean sort of look. <laughs> um, uh, over here, I do need to make a bit of a correction. Um, <laughs> The snow is deep, okay? I do not know how these snowshoe hairs do it, okay? We don't have any too many of them, but we do have a couple of rabbits and a few other things. Not to mention two cats. One that's black and white and the other one that's orange. I know we got two of them. I've seen them in the last couple of days. Anyways, a little correction. Uh, I mentioned in my last video that I had a raspberry sorbet. I would like to correct you, that is a raspberry shortcake, but which is uh, grown by the same company that produces the blueberry glaze as well as the peach sorbet, which I mentioned in my other video. Um, those two varieties are currently patented, prop protected, meaning I can't uh, propagate them to sell. <laughs> but, nothing wrong with propagating them for your own use, but you can't sell. <laughs> okay. Now, here's some plans I have for the future. See that? Nice little stretch from the back of the porch. Man, really need to work, figure out how to do the zoom in on this thing. But from the back of the porch to the sumax, I plan to put in more berry bushes. Probably blueberries or something else. And over where it's Jody, where my red currants are, I plan to put in a few more. Same thing with gooseberries, because I'd like to get a few more varieties. Um, and, uh, gotta be careful, I don't want to fall over the embankment. And over in here is a nice, good, clear triangular section. 100 feet by 100 feet. Damn, it's, uh, it's windy. <laughs> Uh, 100 feet by 100 feet, triangular, roughly. I'd like to turn this into a berry patch. 
and I've been talking to my landlord who is also my great uncle and technically owns this property. <laughs> Same thing with the land I'm walking on. And thankfully he's very lenient. He says you can grow anything you want so long as it's legal. <laughs> Which is very nice. I mean I doubt how I mean how many landlords do you know that would even give you that kind of permission? I mean I asked him, is it alright if I grow apple trees or pear trees? He said go right ahead. I'm not quite sure what I'll be growing in there. Might put in some raspberries, blackberries, maybe even just trees. I do not know, but I'm gonna need a little bit of help from him because this piece of land, it's uh well, it's not really worth it for him to grow crops. It's too narrow for him to turn around in his tractor. Not really good. My only issue is the fact that there's a fence in there for previous tenant who had goats. Of course, that'll be taken care of soon. Because <laughs> someone else wants that fence, and my uncle will then take care of well, any plowing and whatnot in the spring. Hopefully. Uh, we'll see what that looks like in a couple of years anyways. You know, that's one of them long-term projects. Um, I mentioned to you that... that <laughs> I think they call me. Um, I, like I said, I got a good number of plants. Um, now, one trick I've learned with getting a good deal of plants and getting a good deal on them is uh, you, what you can do is uh, you wait until there's a sale that's one thing and uh, you can uh, get a bargain uh, for instance those roses I mentioned I got Ten dwarf roses. Well, actually, uh, seven dwarf roses and some uh, red currants and gooseberries. Got ten plants for twenty bucks. That's a, a reasonable, very reasonable price. And uh, even with the blueberries uh, I mentioned, um, I showed you those grapes. What I didn't tell you was in between those grapes are chrysanthemums, mums, that is. You know, got a good, nice bunch of those for dear, dear old mom, and, well, man, it's getting, along with a couple of blueberry plants, man, in the chest, the guy, if there was a way he'd give me a bit of a bargain, he took off a few bucks. And I don't play easy enough. I went back to that place again that same day, got a couple blueberries, got the one half off the other one for free. <laughs> That's six bucks you can get on two plants, you know. <laughs> and, uh, okay, what I'm talking about right here, what you're looking at right now is the sumac, although right behind it I do have a willow. <laughs> These sumac do come in handy from time to time. In fact, that's where I get a good deal of my walking sticks from. <laughs> you know, you find a branch that's or a tree that's no good. You just cut it out. It's a very it's a useful walking stick, you know. Walk around. You know, just so to see how deep the snow is. <laughs> like I said, these things are at least a good. This is this, this snow is at least a foot deep. <laughs> um. Well, like I said, I have plans to put a row of bushes from the back of the trailer up to these trees. Um, I'm not quite sure which ones I'll be getting. Well, we'll see what happens. Um, well, well, I'll show you more in the spring. Uh, see you then. Bye.